in at nine minutes. Your go. The CMC is go. Okay, Joe. Thirteen, Roger. Remarkably clear communications. This is great because usually you have trouble. Shut down time. Sure, because you have a lot of ionization from the rocket seconds. exhaust and it's flight right back over there. We're getting a staging status now from his flight controller. Thirteen, Houston, you are go for staging. Thirteen, Roger, go for staging. We show the staging there for the second stage. We haven't had confirmation that's taken place actually yet. Probably be a little later than normal. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Because of the longer burns you pointed out, the four engines. But presumably. 13, Houston, stand by for mode four capability. Mark, you have mode four, Jim. Mode four, Roger. Okay, now we could get into orbit with it. Okay, that was 54. Should have occurred at 19 minutes. Yeah, 19 seconds. And that's more ignition, so it's almost 40 seconds late. Roger, that's the compensation. Looks good. Roger. But that, uh, but that puts them in the same altitude and uh, velocity that they would. Uh, oh, they're required. fine. Oh, no problem yeah. at all. No, no. This is all straightened out on the S4B, and we're all very good. happy. Jeffrey, guides, CMC are all go. Thank you, Joe. No, Jim is a little happier, too. He's almost detected. 10 minutes, 30 <laughs> seconds. We are now 102 miles in altitude, 1,080 miles downrange. This uh, Earth orbit will be at 118 miles if uh, everything is nominal. And uh, make the one and a half circuits. Of the of the Earth before they fire that S four B uh, or the the yes, S four B third stage to put them into the trans lunar trajectory. Thirteen Houston at eleven minutes. Your go predicted cutoff on the S four B is twelve plus three four. Over. That's the longest burn to Earth orbit I can recall. <laughs> the what? Longest burning time. Longest acceleration up to orbital velocity. Yeah. Uh, over 12 minutes. Yeah. This is due to that loss of that engine in that right. second stage. So the whole timeline, at least for getting into orbit, is delayed now considerably. Not, not Apollo 13, uh, Houston, your go at 11 and a half, and predicted cutoff time is 12 plus 3 4. Over. Move. Understand 12 plus 3 4 predicted cutoff time. That's a fun. It was predicted at 11 plus 46. So yeah. you can see there's quite a big difference. Percentage-wise, that's very big. Well, now, that, that's coming up on 12 minutes. Shouldn't very very little change in flight. Right, so they, they compensate for that when they make the Pattern of 